After watching this video, you don't need to look further. Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you all are doing well. If you are looking to get a Z Fold 4 or you already have a Z Fold 3 and you guys want to take a decision, then this video is for you. In this video, we'll talk about what matters and what don't. The difference between the two displays and what matters and what don't, the cameras of both devices, the battery and charging speed, the S Pen support, new software and finally my opinion on getting Z Fold 4 or not. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 comes with the same design as Z Fold 3, but Samsung just changed the hinge on Z Fold 3 which makes a Z Fold 4 a bit smaller and a bit wider. And you can only see the difference if you put both phones side by side and the crease on the Z Fold 4 looks slightly better but not to an extent where we see the real difference. Although Samsung manages to change the aspect ratio on the Z Fold 4 but slightly different and if you are already using Z Fold 3 then you can barely notice. Both comes with a 120Hz foldable dynamic AMOLED display, but things to notice that if you are facing any issue with the Z Fold 3 protector, then I will tell you that this time Samsung used the new glass Victus Plus for a Z Fold 4 and better adhesive for a Z Fold 4 protector. Before moving on, if you like the content, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Are you guys going to update from Z Fold 3 to Z Fold 4 after watching this video? If you are a camera person who takes a lot of photos and videos, then you should go for Z Fold 4. Since Z Fold 4 brings big update over cameras from the last year where we see 50 megapixel main lens, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 10 megapixel telephoto with 3x zoom. Although the 12 megapixel ultra wide is exactly the same as last year, where Z Fold 3 only comes with the 12 megapixel configuration. But the front camera on the outer display is exactly the same as the 10 megapixel and the inner under display camera is also the same as 4 megapixel but Samsung manages the pixel better than the Z Fold 3. The battery on the Z Fold 4 and Z Fold 3 are exact same, 4400 mAh which is not enough for 7.6 inches display. But according to Qualcomm, Snapdragon Agent 1 Plus comes with a 30% more power efficiency. So we can see a better battery backup on the Z Fold 4. But don't expect a big changes here. And both phones come with the exactly same 25W fast charger, no change here. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Fold 3 both phones support the same S Pen. You should buy another one for Z Fold 4 along with the new case since the hinge design is a bit different so you cannot put the Z Fold 3 case on the Z Fold 4. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 is here with the new Android 12L and an OS dedicated for the large display where we now see the taskbar at the bottom where Z Fold 3 comes with the Android 11 but can be upgradable to Android 12. And if you are not a tech geek then Android 12 on Z Fold 3 is just fine for you. If we talk about the board device's performance then Z Fold 4 is obviously the winner here. After all, Z Fold 3 is one year older than the Z Fold 4. If you only do media consumption then Z Fold 3 Snapdragon Triple Layer works just fine for you. Now at the end, should you guys go for Z Fold 4? If you never tried any foldable device or you are an older version of foldables like Z Fold 2 or Fold then Z Fold 4 will be a good option to go for it. But if you own Z Fold 3 then chances are there you guys don't feel a big difference while updating from a Z Fold 3 to Z Fold 4 except the software changes. Although if you need a good cameras and a bit smaller display and a bit lighter phone then Z Fold 4 is not a bad choice to make. But now Z Fold 4 is launched you can find deals on Z Fold 3 which is a good option to get your hands on your first foldable device. So with that being said if you came this far drop a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below are you guys going to update from Z43 to Z44 after watching this video. I'll see you next time till then. Peace out.